On the 15th of April, 2019, news outlets all over the world reported on a fire that impacted the city of Paris deeply. Millions of people watched live as one of the most important architectural works of the previous millennium burned for 15 hours straight. Fires don't usually receive worldwide coverage, but the cultural importance of Notre Dame du Paris exceeded national borders and drew the interest and concern of countless people simultaneously on that day. Notre Dame is no stranger to catastrophe. In its nearly seven century long history, it survived countless disasters, man-made or otherwise. But somehow, this Gothic treasure finds a way to preserve its beauty and attract millions annually staying as one of the symbols of Paris. This is Iconic Builds, and today we are taking a look at the Gothic masterpiece of Notre Dame. Standing on Ile de la Cité, Notre Dame left a mark in our culture arguably more than any architectural work. It is the setting of a seminal Victor Hugo novel, a world-renowned musical, and even a Disney animation. Besides the Eiffel Tower, it is the most memorable landmark of Paris, France. In 1163, the cornerstone of Notre Dame was laid in the presence of Pope Alexander III and King Louis VII, who wanted the cathedral to be a symbol of the city's economical, intellectual, and cultural power. But neither of these people, or their successors for that matter, would see the end of these structures' construction. It took 182 years to be completed. And when you take a look at the finished work, it's easy to see why. Notre Dame, which stood at 315 feet in its prime, is a great example of Gothic architecture with its elaborate design that includes flying buttresses, cavernous spaces in the walls, and six-part rib vaults that provide the building the stability that allowed it to stand up for so long. The weight of the building gets distributed downwards to the columns by the rib vaults. These rib vaults are supported by another rib in the middle that divides the vault into six parts. Thanks to the addition of the flying buttresses that support the structure from the outside, no column inside is overburdened by weight. This specific design also reduces the need for supporting walls leaving more room for the iconic stained glass windows of Notre Dame, allowing the interiors to get more natural sunlight. Notre Dame has seen its fair share of wars, revolutions, and revolts, leaving the structure itself and the artwork inside in a damaged state on more than one occasion. The building was in an especially bad state after the French Revolution and the following decades. Most of the treasure inside was either destroyed or plundered. After Napoleon came to power in France, the interior was restored to a certain degree, and the cathedral was the place where Napoleon's coronation ceremony as the emperor of the French took place. But even the emperor's efforts couldn't save Notre Dame du Paris from being in a dilapidated state after the Napoleonic Wars. In these years, the cathedral was in danger of being demolished until Victor Hugo's 1831 novel, Notre Dame du Paris, was published, and the public interest in the structure was restored for good, and renovations started again. Ever since then, the cathedral's relevance as one of the city's cultural centers never diminished. It draws nearly 12 million visitors each year. And that doesn't mean the cathedral's run of bad luck stopped, as its spire burnt down in 2019. The works to restore the cathedral to its former glory started immediately this time, and it is expected that the restorations will end in the spring of 2024, and Notre Dame will be open for visitors once again. 